Okay, on this video, guys, I'll be showing you how you can run off to the nearest. Ne? So, running off to the nearest is a process of putting a number up or down to the nearest whole number. Ne? So, first thing, I will start by showing you some certain methods which you could use to get correct answers ne? or which are going to help you to get correct answers. Ne? So, you need to understand this thing. Four things. Ones, tens, hundred, and thousand. Ne? So ones has only one number. Tens has two numbers. Hundred has three numbers. Thousand has four numbers. Ne? So this thing is going to be like it's going to help you to determine the value which you are being asked to change. Ne? And then uh, you should like draft a table. Okay, starting from the right side going to the left. So you need to start with the ones followed by tens, followed by hundred, followed by thousand. So it's going to look like uh, this one. As you can see, we have ones just that is a little bit blurry. Ones on the right side followed by tens, hundred, and thousand. Okay? So this thing is going to be helping you how you can um, how you can identify the value which you have to change. Or either the value that you have to run off. Yeah? And then the second step is this thing that I normally used to call it a scale. This scale is going to be helping you to understand whether the number that you the number that is near the number which should be rounded off has enough power to change that number, or is it weak to a point whereby it cannot change. Um, that thing there. So to, to determine either a number can be able or have enough power to change it or not, you need to use the scale. We have zero up to nine, as you can see. Ne? So this zero up to nine, ne? as you can see, zero up to four are the numbers that I normally call them weak numbers because of they cannot change any number. They cannot, if we are converting, they cannot change any number. Then from 5 to 9, we have strong numbers. These numbers can change any number by addition of 1. So which means that from 0 to 4, we round it off, down. Ne? But from 5 to 9, we round it off, up. So, which means that from 5 to 9, they have much power to add that number which we are rounding off by 1. But if we have 0 up to 4, we cannot round it off. The number is going to be 0. I'm going to show you how.